people. So since you all seem to like my McDonald's story so much, I figured why not tell you all another story? I warn you though, this one's a little bit, no, a lot more screwed up. Back in high school, I dated quite a few people and my relationships usually lasted a hell of a long time. One of them lasted about two months and though that is a long time for most people, it really wasn't for me. Anyways, to keep the people in this story anonymous, I'm gonna change a whole bunch of names. Except for mine, of course. So we are gonna call my ex-boyfriend at the time, Adam. Adam was extremely nerdy, but in a cute way. And when we started dating, it was quite random. We both went to different elementary schools and literally only spoke to each other like twice. But for whatever reason, I had a little crush on him and I had just broken up with a boyfriend I was seeing for a year. So when he asked me out, I obviously said yes. Everything was great for the first month. We hung out all the time, held hands in the hallways. And in grade nine, this was a big deal for me. Cause when I was in high school, things seemed to move a lot slower than they do now, which makes me scared for the modern generation of high schoolians. But anywho, after about a month and a half in, the new girl happened. We are gonna call her Trashy Trish. Why? Cause this is my story, bitch. Trashy Trish started hanging out with my group of friends, probably about a month or so before Adam and I started dating. And at my school, we obviously had cliques, or cliques, but my group is what I like to call the median. We weren't extremely popular, but everybody knew who we were and we got along with everyone. So we were fine with adopting a new member. And almost immediately, Trashy Trish seemed to gravitate towards me. At the time, I really didn't think anything of it. I mean, she's new to the school. She was trying to make new friends, or so I thought. That's pretty normal, right? I mean, I've moved 14 times in my life. I have been the new kid more times than I could count on one set of hands. So I kind of knew what it felt like. But then things started to get a little bit weird. At the time, I took the bus home. I lived about a 15 minute bus ride away from the school and Trashy Trish got off about seven stops before I did. One day, she took it upon herself to not get off at her stop. So I asked, why are you going to the store or something? What's going on? And she said, well, I thought I could come over. And I didn't want to hurt her feelings, so I said, sure. And it continued like that for freaking days. One time I even had to say I had a ton of homework and that I really couldn't hang out. And she said, that's okay, I have homework too. We can do it together. And as if that wasn't creeping me out enough, she started to hold on to my arm, like here, instead of the bus pulley things, you know, you hold on to when you're standing up. Anyways, as soon as I started dating Adam, it was as if she snapped. She wanted nothing to do with me anymore. In fact, she avoided me like the plague. I was actually kind of happy. I mean, it was getting to the point of me considering a restraining order. But then I found out she asked Adam to go out with her an hour after we started dating. Adam said that he said he was taken, so I kind of just let the whole thing go. I didn't want to get involved with her again. I just got rid of her. Anyway, Adam and I usually hung out on Fridays. But one Friday I called, said I was coming over, and he said that he was busy. So I said, doing what? We have plans. And then he started stuttering. Uh, e um. Well, Trashy Trish is coming over and we're going in the hot tub. So obviously I was flipping furious. So I said, um, and uh, no you're not. And then he said, okay, okay, I'll call her and say I can't. <laughs> the poor bugger, he thought that would get him off the hook. Well, I did say he was cute, not smart. Anyways, I hung up the phone and buried myself in my sketchbook the whole night. Usually what I did when I was feeling down or lonely or whatever. Till the doorbell rang. I totally thought it was him trying to apologize. But bloody hell! It was trashy Trish. I wanted to rip the skin off her face. But I held back, trying to be civil, and asked what she wanted. And to my surprise, could have been anything in the world. But she said you. A lot happened after that that shouldn't be put on the internet. And in all fairness, bad language. Just bad, bad language. A long story short, the crazy biatch had been flirting with Adam since the day we started dating. She was trying to get him to cheat on me with her. Get this! So I would break up with him to be with her. I don't think I had ever been so pissed, confused, stunned. There were too many words if there were any. Who in the freaking hell does that? Not to mention think that I would want to be with them after the fact. And there was the whole thing that she was a girl and I didn't know I liked girls at the time. That biatch was nuts! And as if the situation wasn't bad enough, because I rejected her, the next day she told the whole school that I was a lesbian and I'm a 
made a move on her. To my surprise, my friends gave me the benefit of the doubt and backed me up. No one would talk to her after that, she could never sit at the table with us anymore, and it got so bad that she actually moved away the following year. Till this day, I can't believe this happened to me. And if you're wondering what happened to Adam and I, a couple weeks after, he told me through MSN, do you guys remember MSN? That he wanted to take a break in two weeks. A break in two weeks. Not now, in two weeks. So I said, bye-bye. And hold on, as if that wasn't stupid enough. About a year and a half later, he contacted me asking me if we could go off of our break. And you know what I said? I have a girlfriend now. And we were never on a break, biatch. I dumped your scrawny patootie. Yep. So as you guys can probably tell, I have had really weird crap happen to me. I think this story is definitely worthy of a like, so don't forget to smack that like button. Let me know any crazy relationship stories you've had or if you've heard from other people down below. And share this video any way you can. Twitters, book faces, Instagram, Google Pluses. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new daily videos. And until next time, people, toodles.